artifacts of Mars. And a rapper named Azealia Banks, never heard of her before, called for the burliest, blackest men to run a train on Sailor Serapin, who, threat who in turn is threatening to sue. Uh, here's what happened. Apparently somebody ran a fake story. It was a satire story on Palin, claiming that Palin suggested that uh, the black slaves brought over enjoyed their bondage. It was a BS story. It was intended as satire. But this brainless idiot picked up on it and suggested that biggest, burliest, blackest men around should run a train on Sarah Palin. Now, the rapper's denying that she isn't uh, suggesting gang rape, but I guarantee you Sarah Palin would not consensually do this type of thing. This is disgusting. Raunchy rapper Azealia Banks is denying she called for savage gang rape of Sarah Palin. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Well, the former Alaska governor has vowed a lawsuit. I never said you should be raped, Banks claimed on her Tumblr page Tuesday. I used the term run train, which is slang for group sex. Your nose is growing longer, Pinocchio. Not for rape. That is a lie. Banks wrote in her half-hearted attempt at damage control. There are many distinctions between the two. Now, we both know, we all know that Sarah Palin would not do this type of thing, so this person is a liar. Hot-tempered Harlem rapper... Rapper issued her acid tongue apology. That is not an apology. After receiving backlash for a series of highly graphic, hate mongering messages posted on Twitter early Monday, early Sunday, that targeted the 2008 vice presidential candidate. Uh, Banks 24 blamed her Twitter tirade on a fake news story. She Failed to recognize his joke, the article falsely claimed Palin suggested black slaves enjoyed bondage. Since learning that the article is not officially published, I sincerely apologize for any emotional distress or reputational scarring that I may have caused you, she wrote. Well, now that, I can call an apology. Sarah Palin needs to have her hair shaved off to a buzz cut, get head bleeped by a big, veiny, ashy black. And not going to repeat it, then be locked in a cupboard. In my honest defense, I was completely kidding. I happen to have a really crash New York City sense of humor and regularly make sick, silly jokes and attempts make light of situations that make me uncomfortable. Banks claimed before entering or rambling me a call club with several more jokes made at the... That is incredible bullshit. Expense of Palin's daughter, Bristol. In other words, she's trying to play a lot of getting sued, is what this amounts to. Here's what Palin had to say. I have had enough of unanswered threats and attacks against my family and me, Palin reportedly said. So the first time I'm going to enjoy only retribution some protected celebrities seem to understand. I'm suing Azealia Banks and can't wait to share my winnings with others who have gone defenseless against lies and dangerous attacks far too long. Good, she's fighting back. She accused Banks of engaging in a form of racism and hate that is celebrated by some in the perverted arm of the pop culture, but should be condemned. Others may keep
keep turning a blind eye to problems like Azalea's mouth. I choose to take a stand against it and double standards that result in her actually being rewarded for her divisive tactics and aggressively inciting violence failing told the people. I'm assuming People Magazine. Uh, and here's some of the comments, Sarah Palin needs to have her hair shaved off and buzz caught, get head effed by a big veiny ashy black D and then uh, be locked in a cupboard. Hideous, at least. Suck it. And D or uh, something before you start talking S about black people willingly accepting slavery. At least she can do banks, said. She ended her fit of hardcore hate with mention of the train and suggesting that sex be filmed and posted on the website World Star hiphop.com. Honestly, what biggest, burliest, blackest Negroes? Let's find the biggest, burliest, blackest Negroes and the, let them run a train on her. Film it on, film it and put it on World Star, she tweeted. She's suggesting rape. I mean, come on. Palin later tweeted a link to a Breitbart article she referenced the reckless rant and Kind of suddenly addressed the loudmouth recording artist. Hey, female rapper, listen up, little darling. No one has any idea what you're wigging out about in these. And it just goes on and on. Uh, you know, I would suggest that the cops would at least, you know, stop this rapper's address and say, Hey, uh, why are you saying this type of thing? This is a no-no. Uh, we hear this type of thing again. You're going to spend a night in jail or something. Or maybe they should just, you know, put her in jail for a night. And cool her off a little bit. And you can't sit there and threaten... Uh... You can't sit there and threaten people like this. She's gone over the line. She should be... The police should at least go to her residence and say, Okay, enough is enough. I'm Artifacts of Mars. You know, I'm disgusted by this. You can't say this type of thing. You can't threaten public officials. You know, you can sit there and say, I don't like that guy in office, let's get together and vote him out. You can say that, but you can't say, I don't like that guy in office, let's take machetes and go visit him or something. You can't do that. That's just an example. So, I would say we got ourselves a problem here. Hopefully it'll just uh, fade away. I don't care if she gets sued or not. It's not my problem. This is Artifacts Mars. Thanks for watching.